Hello, welcome to Vedial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see Diels-Alder reaction. This reaction is a very useful reaction in organic chemistry. And this particular question is taken from JAM 2021 question paper. So let us see the question first. The major product formed in the following reaction is. So there is an equation that is given and then four options of products are given. So before we look into the options, let us understand what is a Diels-Alder reaction, what are the conditions for a Diels-Alder reaction and how to solve a problem based on Diels-Alder reaction. So what is a Diels-Alder reaction? It's a simple, uh, you know, cycloaddition reaction wherein you see a diene and a dienophile combines together to form a six-membered ring system. And uh, this six-membered ring system uh, has an unsaturated uh, bond. And uh, you will also see it is an electrocyclic uh, reaction. It is also called as a 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction. So now let us see what are the, what is the meaning of these definitions. So uh, as I told you in this particular reaction, a diene and a dienophile. So a dienophile is nothing but an unsaturated compound which could be a ene, which has the ability to withdraw a pair of electrons uh, is used as a dienophile. So this is basically a fundamentally a reaction between a diene. So one of the reactant must compulsively be a diene, the other reactant must be a ene. So there could be substituents on the diene and the ene, uh, which is called as a dienophile, but then the basic skeletal structure must be a diene and a ene. And uh, this particular reaction results in the formation of a six-membered uh, cyclic ring system with an unsaturation. So this uh, particular reaction is made possible because of a, con -com it's a, it's a concerted reaction where is bond making and uh, bond breaking. So this bond is broken. Bond breaking are formed in a single step. So this is a concerted reaction. And this is called as a 4 plus 2 cycloaddition because um, you know there are two pi bonds in a diene, so uh, it is actually involving four pi electrons. So that is why uh, one particular component is four. And then when we say it is an ene, there are two electrons involved in one pi bond. So that is the reason why it is called as a four plus two cyclo addition. Cyclo means the addition happens in a uh, system where a cyclic product is formed. So this is a very popular class of reaction. So many um, competitive exam based questions are possible in these kinds of reactions. And uh, Diels-Alder reaction is one such very important uh, reactions in chemistry wherein very popular questions are asked in competitive exams. So uh, here we see it is described in detail. Uh, one most important thing that we must remember here is the configuration or oh, sorry conformation. So here in case of Diels-Alder reaction the diene must be in a yes cis conformer. So when we say yes cis we, we always study cis and trans with respect to the double bond. So whenever two similar groups are on the same side we call it as cis. When two similar groups are on the opposite side we call it as trans. But then in case of a diene, we are not talking about the double bonds that are present in it. We are talking about the single bond that is uniting the two double bonds. We are talking about this bond. So this single bond is, um, uh, we all know, is rotatable, unlike a double bond which cannot be rotated. Because the single bond is rotatable, this can exist in equilibrium with another structure wherein the double bonds are opposite to each other. Okay, so they are actually trans to each, to each other to the single bond. So that is the reason why this particular conformation because it is change in rotation about a single bond. These two conformations of dienes are very important. When both the double bonds are on the same side, it is called as yes cis. So here you see the double bonds are on the same side. So it is called as yes cis. But in, in, in case of an acyclic double uh, diene, wherein it is so flexible, the bond is rotatable, 
it can also exist in the s trans we know s trans is the most stable because uh, the bulky groups are away from each other so in case of an s trans uh, conformation the diels alder reaction is not preferred okay because the both the groups are away from each other so the probability or availability of electron density uh, for a cyclic formation is prevented in case of a s trans so s trans if it is in a acyclic system will equilibrate to s to this before the reaction could happen so this is an example of 1,3 butadiene so in 1,3 butadiene the stablest conformer is s trans but then diels alder reaction happens only when the diene is in the s cis conformation so in this particular case as we see here uh, the uh, pi electrons are actually donated by the diene so a new bond will be formed here and then this double bond breaks and goes in between this diene and then this bond shifts here to balance out the uh, remaining four electrons so thus we see the older so in this particular representation we see here all these four bonds single sigma bonds are existing and here there is one sigma bond so all the the three pi bonds shift places two pi bonds form a new bond between one and uh, the diene like here and then the third one forms the double bond so in total we see this is no matter what substituent you have the reaction happens only this way and then the six member ring system which is an uh, which is having an unsaturated uh, carbon carbon bond will be formed and so this six member ring system can always be represented in a different way so instead of uh, you know uh, stretching out uh the two bonds that are here they can be flipped inside like this and then an can be represented like this so this is also a popular and correct way of representing a six membered ring system uh, this is more useful whenever we are representing a bicyclic system and it is uh, the uh, the correct nomenclature by which a bicyclic system is represented so now let's see some of the other parameters associated with this diels alder reaction so what kind of substituents will be useful or will favor diels alder reaction so as i told you all cis conformations only will favor so in all these examples these two are acyclic systems so they can equilibrate between cis and trans but then this is the preferred conformation in case of a cyclic system it is a rigid system so in this system the reaction is more favored when compared to acyclic systems because in rigid system s cis conformer is already available and so the direct reaction happens and here we see here one is a rigid system and then one is a acyclic system all of these uh, di can undergo reaction and if there is an electron donating group either an alkyl group or an alkoxy group on these dienes it favors the reaction and on the contrary in case of a dienophile it is the opposite so the dienophile will definitely have a double bond so we see here the double bond is there in the dienophile so all dienophile has a double bond and besides that there are functional groups that could be attached to this dienophile so when there is a functional group that is attached to the dienophile what we are supposed to see is whether they are electron donating or electron withdrawing so all electron withdrawing functional groups that is the carbonyl functionals so whenever there is a carbon attached to the diene uh, and it is a carbonyl group then definitely it is an electron withdrawing group so when such electron withdrawing groups are present then it favors the ability of the diene file to withdraw electron from the diene so in case of a diene electron donating groups favor diels alder reaction in case of a diene file electron withdrawing groups favor diels alder reaction
so as i told you uh, in case of the open chain structures uh, there is always a possibility of the s trans to go into the s cis conformer for the reaction to happen and this particular example is a very classical example wherein we see here this is a diene and this diene is in the s trans conformation but then when it is made into a s cis conformation two bulky phenyl groups come closer to each other so this molecule would not want to equilibrate to a conformer which is uh, sterically strained so this particular substrate will not undergo diels salder reaction so whenever um, they, there are always a questions that are asked wherein they will ask us to arrange the dienes in increasing order of reactivity or there could be a question on where which among the following substituents could undergo uh, diels salder reaction so this is the basic parameter that we must keep in mind when we are talking about reactivity of dienes uh, so here as i pointed out earlier when we are having a cyclic system the cyclic system uh, one of the best or the shortcut way to study uh, uh, the reaction between a diene and a diene of phyllis uh, see uh, i am drawing it here so that you people can understand so this is a diene and this is a diene of phyllis so when the reaction is happening we must remember we should conveniently ignore this particular extra group because always remember it is actually the diene and the diene of phyle so the diene and the diene of phyle will result in the formation of a six membered group with a double bond that is all so whether it is cyclic or acyclic definitely this is going to be one of the product so always remember when you are having a substrate identify the diene and mark the carbon atoms so this is where the diene is and identify the diene of phyle and mark their carbon atoms and in the product also you can mark their carbon atoms that is all so now we have marked the di the skeletal diene structure and now what is left out is this bond that connects these two uh, red marked carbon atoms so all i have to do is put one group in between that is all so this is how we we should you know write the cycloadduct of diels alder reaction so when we are writing the product diels alder products are always called as adducts you don't have to be specific about giving their names they are generally called as adducts so suppose this is a six membered ring system so let us go back to a cyclic six membered ring system and this is also a diene and the diene of phyle so in this case also what we are expected to do forget these two groups because that is extra so the product is going to be the diene reacting with the diene of phyle and forming a double bonded system so now the extra group this is the place this is the place so now this is the place this is the place so what is the extra group the extra group is this group that is all so that is the product so there's no complication at all but as i told you the flipping up of the six membered ring i the six membered ring on one side is flipped on the inside so we flip it on the inside we put the double bond and then there is two carbon atoms between these two groups so that is shown like this that is all so if it is a five membered ring we put it like this put the double bond and then there is only one carbon atom which is bonding okay so this is how we write bicyclic systems in case of a cyclic dienes so coming to serial specificity so we see this particular reaction happens only on one side so it is actually a um, uh, addition which is happening on the same side like syn addition so what we are supposed to remember is um in case of a diene also we can look at the substituents uh, let us first look at the substituents attached to the ene so when we are talking about an ene we know we can say the substituents are cis to each other or the substituents are trans to each other 
So when the substituents are cis to each other, you see the product also comes out as a cis product. When it is a trans, it comes out as a trans product. That is all. This is a, this is something you have to remember. So similarly, there are notations that we must remember to uh, use when we are talking about bicyclic systems. So in case of, a, see here, in, it is R is cis to each other. This is a cyclic uh, diene. So when the product is formed, the product is a bicyclic product. So when the product is a bicyclic product, uh, the way we uh, denote or we, the way we describe these substituents is entirely different. So here we use the notation endo and exo. So endo is a group which is vertically down, which is on the inside and exo is a group which is on the outside. So endo is inside the concave side. Okay. And we must remember uh, that uh, uh, in case of a cyclic system, uh, you, you should ensure that the structures are endo are in the, the substituents in the structure, the substituents are in the endo position. So, this is uh, what you have to remember in case of a bicyclic system. So, in this example, it is pointed out where the substituents will come. So, here we have uh, two groups, okay. So, here there is another A, okay. So, the diene is also having two substituents. The dienophile is also having two substituents. So, when these two groups come together, what would happen to the respective groups? What will be their orientation or what will be their stereochemistry or the position? That is what we see here. So, when these two groups bond together, it is quite simple for us to remember when they fuse together, okay, this particular group comes out. So, it is like this is actually coming towards us, this is going behind. Likewise, X is coming in front, okay, Y is going behind. So, likewise, X is coming towards us, Y is going behind. So, this is how the reaction is happening and so you have the broken lines and then the solid line. So, whenever a diene and a dienophile combine, the group that is away is behind, that is away from the diene is behind, okay. And then the two groups which are on inside will also be behind, that is all. Remember these two things. Now, here coming to this particular question. So, here you have the diene and this is the uh, substituted benzoquinone and it is a dienophile. So, diene does not have any other substituent, but then this is having two substituents. Now, the question is, <coughs> where will the uh, reaction happen? Will it happen at the methyl, this double bond or will it happen at the methoxy double bond? <coughs> we know pretty well, mm, a methoxy group is electron donating group. Likewise, Methyl group is also electron donating group, but methoxy group has oxygen atom and so it has a lone pair of electrons. So, it is, you know, far more electron donating than uh, the methoxy group, methyl group. But then when we talked about dienophile, we said that electron withdrawing group only will favor dienophile reaction. But then here we are having two electron donating groups. So, when you are having electron donating group, the group that is less electron donating will be the more preferred side simply. So, now the reaction will definitely happen at the this position. So, when it is going to happen on uh, this side of the molecule, so we have to bother ourselves only with this side of the molecule. So, the other side of the molecule is going to be unaffected. So, uh, this is the dienophile. So, the diene and the dienophile will definitely form a six-membered ring and this is the diene carbon. So, I am marking it. So, the diene carbon is marked here. So, there is no substituent on the diene carbon, but the dienophile has the methyl group. So, there is this methyl group here. 
whereas the all other groups are unaffected because no reaction happens on this side so now the only problem is with us is well where is that methyl methyl is it uh, in front or whether it is behind so let us see some of the options so you see here in this particular case uh, we have written for the di uh, for the ene uh, on this side so but then now we are going to put the ene on the other side so when we put the ene on the other side we know that the side where the reaction happens is actually coming in front so this is the side which is reaction is happening so it will come in front because it is on in happening on the same side so this is how the reaction would happen and we will land up getting the product so here there is a hydrogen so the two hydrogens are on the same side so we see the products are formed like this so now let us go to the reaction so in this particular reaction there are four options that are given so in all among the four options what we see is option a is the one which solves the answer because we have the methyl on the same side as the diene so it will come up and of course what is not mentioned is the hydrogen atom both of them are in the cis position to each other so we have the group coming on the same side whereas the other options are ruled out and the option with methoxy group is ruled out why because because methoxy group is more electron donating so this side of the double bond is not uh, is more electron rich so it doesn't have the ability to uh, get the electron from the diene and so c and d are not preferred products a and b are the two possible products of which a is the answer because of the stereochemical requirement i hope uh, you understood uh, how to solve a diels alder reaction so thank you subscribe for more videos